Hello everyone, my name is Janika and I am an expat from Finland living in the city of Leiden in the Netherlands. Today is a special day here in Leiden as it's the 3rd of October and every year on the 3rd of October there is an annual celebration here in Leiden called the Leiden Onset and usually it is celebrated for a few days and today is like the main day as today is the 3rd of October. During this time the whole city is celebrating, there's a parade, a huge fun fair, food stalls, different stages and parties and concerts, there's a lot going on. It feels like the whole city is transformed into like a festival slash amusement park and it's pretty cool. In today's in today's video I'm going to show you guys what Leiden on set is like, I'm gonna talk about why it is celebrated, what's the history behind it and yeah just show you the madness of this day. Even now I can constantly hear parades going by, already before 8am I could hear that there was a party and parade going on so yeah it is all very much fun but it gets also quite hectic. But yeah I'm very excited about this day and I hope you guys are as well. But yeah, let's go. It was actually raining earlier today, but luckily now towards the evening, the sky has cleared up. So let's hope the weather stays good like this. There's a lot of people out and about for sure. Let's see everything that's going on. So why is the Leiden onset celebrated? Well, quite a long time ago the Netherlands was in war with Spain for 80 years from 1568 to 1648. During this time the Spaniards attempted to capture Leiden two times. On the second time in 1574 they succeeded. During the time of their siege the citizens of Leiden didn't have enough food and diseases spread all over the city causing thousands of people to die. Leiden was saved when William the Silent formed a plan to liberate the city by destroying dikes and flooding the countryside around Leiden, causing the Spanish to retreat. The siege then ended on the 3rd of October. Leiden's onset is now celebrated every year to commemorate the city's liberation. some traditional Dutch foods that are usually eaten on the 3rd of October, like raw herring and white bread for example. But you can also find all the other typically Dutch and non-Dutch foods being sold at different food stands. spots it's like it's impossible to walk through or it takes yeah super long if you don't like big crowds then this is not the place for you there's a lot of little market stalls everywhere as well not just selling food but also selling things like clothes and bags and yeah you can find almost anything here
I managed to find a relatively calm spot, but I'm here behind some cars. I saw a little shop that was selling macarons and I couldn't resist. I chose two different ones. So the first one I got is in the caramel sea salt flavor. Let's try it, sounded really good. Mm. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> It's really good, even though I got some of it in my wrong throat, but especially the sea salt in it makes it taste very nice. The second one I got is Oreo. Not sure why it's blue. I guess the Oreo packaging is blue, so maybe that's the reason they chose to go with this color. And I think this one was also vegan. They had a lot of vegan flavors as well, so I decided to try one of those as well. Mm. It's really good, but if I would have to choose, I think the caramel sea salt was even better. I have been joined by my friend Taru. She's all dressed up. She even has Leiden themed socks. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Just when you started filming, they stopped playing. Yum, so good. Yeah. It's nice with the sweetness of the chocolate, but then the freshness of the strawberry. Is it good? You have to pay for the ride separately and the prices seem to vary a bit. We decided to get on the ferris wheel which costed us 10 euros per person. So. <laughs> we just jumped on the ferris wheel. As Finnish people we're very happy about the fact that we don't need to share, I don't know what this thing is called, but we don't need to be here with anyone else. <laughs> Are you scared of heights? <laughs> it's quite windy. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. 
am back home now. It was definitely very much fun, but also a lot of people. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye.